Oh shit, I put my phone on airplane mode. Okay, so this has been years in the making, literally. Um, I think I started watching YouTube in 2015, and I told myself in 2016, I'm going to start a YouTube. Didn't do it. 2017, I told myself, I'm going to start a YouTube. Didn't do it. 2018, I told myself, you know what? This is the year I'm going to make a YouTube video, and I didn't. But I'm here now. It's 2019. It is January 3rd. It's like 12 in the morning, and I'm up, and I'm here, and I'm going to do this. First ever video, I'm going to do a story time. So this story time is going to be called The Biggest Thought in My School, which is me, yours truly. Now, before you judge me, listen to the story, get into it, before you judge a bitch. All right, let's get into it. So this story time is going to take place um, during my freshman year and my sophomore year of high school. Now, as my um, channel grows, you guys are going to notice that I've moved back and forth between Jacksonville and Palm Coast. So when I lived in Jacksonville, um, I went to Wolfson and then when I lived in Palm Coast, I went to FPC. This story is going to take place in Jacksonville. So my freshman year, I moved to Jacksonville around February. So that's when I started going to Wolfson. Um, and when I was going to that school, I was dating this boy named Marvin. So there's going to be a lot of names in the story time. So I need everybody to keep up with the names. We're probably going to do like a little review like every five minutes because there is a lot of names in this story. So I was dating this boy named Marvin, right? So Marvin had a best friend named um, Andrea. Andrea had a boyfriend named DeAndre. So I thought DeAndre was cute. I felt like DeAndre was really cute and I wanted him. Also, I thought DeAndre was gay. I don't know what it was about him, but I felt like DeAndre was gay and I wanted him and I told myself, I'm gonna fucking get him, period. So the year plays out and um, it's almost to the end of the school year and, and um, Andrea and DeAndre break up. Um, now they break up and um, summer comes. So when summer comes, me and Marcus broke up. Now I really don't remember why me and Marvin broke up per se, but we did. Um, so when me and Marvin broke up, I started talking to yours truly, DeAndre. So it wasn't really a shocker that I started talking to DeAndre because I already told myself from the get go that I was going to start talking to him. So me and him started talking. Now, but when me and him started talking, this dumbass forgot to um, change his password. So Andrea still had all his passwords. And me and him was texting through Facebook Messenger. So she saw everything. So when she saw everything, she did what any other girl would do. She screenshotted everything and she posted it. She exposed him. She exposed everything. It literally went all over facebook like literally everywhere the whole entire school was talking about it i was arguing with andrea marvin was arguing with me i was arguing with their friends my friends was arguing with their friends it was just a whole lot of whole lot of everywhere but the funny thing about it is deandre did not say one word he didn't make a post he didn't like a post he didn't comment on anything he was completely silent the only thing i got from him was a text basically stating that now that everyone knows him and i can no longer talk ever again it was no type of conversation. It was no type of nothing. He left me in the dust and the blind. Boom. Zip. Zot. Zada. That's it. So, um, at this point, um, summer goes along. And I'm just like, fuck him. Fuck Marvin. Fuck Andrea. Fuck anyone that had anything to do with it. I don't care. So, um, so you know when, like, summer's almost over and you guys have, like, open house. When you go to school, you meet your teachers, you get your schedule, you find out what lunch you have. Yeah, it was one of those. So, I went one of my one of my friends of mine and I saw Andrea there. Now, Andrea was with a girl. We're going to name this girl named Aaliyah. Now, Andrea and Aaliyah were now a couple. So, let's do a little review. So, me, I was dating Marvin. Marvin was best friends with Andrea. Andrea started dating DeAndre. I start talking to DeAndre, and now Andrea is gay, talking to Aaliyah. Andrea and Aaliyah are now a couple. So now that these girls are together, I see them, they see me, we don't speak, we don't say anything to each other. It's basically like a pass by, no shade, no tea, like nothing was said at all. So um, I find it kind of funny how um, she was dating DeAndre, and then she found out he was gay, and she wasn't gay, but that's a whole... We're just gonna leave it there. So anyway, so um, so the school year um, starts and the funny thing about um, Aaliyah and Andrea being together is that Aaliyah had an ex-boyfriend named Nick. Now Nick and DeAndre was best friends. So two best friends 
two girlfriends started dating. So Nick and DeAndre were best friends. Their exes is Aaliyah and Andrea. Aaliyah and Andrea started dating, but this is where it even gets even messier. So one day I'm sitting home, minding my business, chilling, you know, doing me, and I get a Uvu call. Now this was back in the day when Uvu was popping. Everybody know Uvu was lit. Everybody was on Uvu, the group FaceTimes, everything. It was lit. So I get a Uvu from Nick. Now when Nick called me, I was kind of confused because me and him was cool, but it wasn't that cool for him to Uvu me. So I answered and he's like, what's up? I'm like, what's up? Yada, yada, yada. We're chit chatting. And he's just laughing like something's so funny. I'm like, what's funny? So I see that he has no shirt on, but he's in the bed. So I'm like, okay, he's laying down, no shirt on, whatever. So then he pulls the camera down to his. And I'm just like, baby boy, what are you doing? First of all, I talked to your best friend. And <laughs> you used to talk to Aaliyah. That's now dating Andrea. This is mess. I don't want to be part of it, period. So when um, Nick showed me that, nothing really came about it. Honestly, that was the first and last time we ever talked about it. Um, I never really told a lot of people. It was just that that was dead. It, nothing, period. Nothing happened from that. So literally the week before school starts, I get a call from DeAndre. He basically called me. He apologized for everything that happened earlier that summer. He basically like he just wants to try again because he really does miss me. He wants nothing to do with Andrea. That's a rap. That's a dub. He wants to be with me. So of course, like a dummy, I fall for it. So, um... The school starts, it's literally the first day of school, and when I walk in my first period, guess who I see? I see Marvin, my ex-boyfriend. Now, it wasn't that awkward, him being in my first period, because throughout summer, me and him kind of did get cordial, so him being in my first period wasn't that big of a deal. So me and him are chit-chatting with a few other people that we do know, taking pictures, uh, this and the third, you know, the things that you do on the first day of school. So when the bell almost rings, he grabs my phone and he literally sprints out the door. Now, mind you, it's the first day of school, so you already know when the bell rings, everyone rushes out, no one knows where they're going, so all the hallways are crowded, and it was just jam-packed, so it was no way of me catching him. Like, he ran so fast, and I was just so unprepared. I didn't even attempt to chase him because it was literally pointless. So I go to my second period, and after my second period, I go in the hallway, I'm looking for him, and I see him, and he's giving me that look. And that look let me know that he knows exactly what's going on. He had my phone, so you know if you have someone's phone, you know everything because it's it's their phone like they it's their phone like you know you know everything about the person when you get that damn phone so now the news get out that i'm talking to deandre once again um obviously andrea finds out and she's pissed and she's talking shit and it's going around the whole entire school and this is literally only the first day of sophomore year so i get home and deandre texted me he basically does the same thing again he was just like you know i don't want to do this anymore what people keep finding out you and i should not be together yada 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 so he completely erases me out of his memory and we no longer talk so at this point, I am annoyed with Andrea as I feel like she is ruining my life because I really like DeAndre and I really want to be with him. And bitch, you're the reason why we're not together because your ass keep making things complicated because you're jealous ass friends. It's just too fucking much. After that, um, Andrea and Aaliyah dispute. They are no longer a couple. They stop dating each other. They stop being fake and gay and decide to go back to men. So Andrea started dating this boy named Charlie. So I didn't really know Charlie. Um, I mean, I saw him a few times during school, but we had no classes together. We didn't have lunch together. I just, I never saw him. So he was really a uh, factor to me. So one day I had detention and anybody knows um, if you have ice all day, it is literally the most boring thing ever. It literally lasts all day. Um, the time goes by so slow because you're sitting in one room by yourself with probably like five people. So the day that I had detention all day, Charlie happens to be in there. When I see him, the first thing that pops up in my head, it was like, oh, revenge, period. 